Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited the residence of the Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Subah, accompanied by Deputy Prime Minister, ministers and senior officials on the occasion of the Kuwait's 58th National Day anniversary and the 28th anniversary of Liberation Day. During the visit, His Royal Highness highlighted Kuwait's high status for the people of Bahrain based on historic brotherly ties and mutual destiny. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of this occasion to Bahrain, taking this opportunity to recall with pride the leading role of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Subah, in Kuwait's development as well as national, regional and global achievements thanks to his wise policy. His Royal Highness congratulated the Emir of Kuwait, the Kuwaiti government and people, wishing them further success and many happy returns. The Prime Minister expressed keenness to celebrate this occasion along with Kuwait and affirmed his pride in the country's advanced national achievements under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait. His Royal Highness stressed that the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations are based on brotherhood and faith in the unity and purpose and destiny. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the development of bilateral relations in light of the support it receives from the leaderships of both countries, affirming that the relations between the two countries are characterized by growing prospects and increasing opportunities to increase cooperation for interests of the two brotherly peoples. His Royal Highness ha hailed the pioneering role of the Emir of Kuwait in increasing the efforts of Gulf and Arab integration and cooperation as well as His Highness's humanitarian role that earned the admiration of the world. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness to participate in the Kuwaiti National Day celebrations, which embody the close ties between the two countries. He also noted Kuwait's appreciation of His Royal Highness for being a Gulf symbol who made many achievements for his homeland and nation. يحمي حماها بل فعول المنيفة للعز برهان وللطيب عنوان جمعتها في حضرتك يا خليفة للعز برهان وللطيب عنوان جمعتها في حضرتك يا خليفة تشهد على ما قول سكات الأزمان هو مزبن اللي نايشتها المخيفة تشهد على ما قول سكات الأزمان هو مزبن اللي نايشتها المخيفة واليوم عيد 
من فضل عالي الشان عيد الوطن شوف النفوس العفيفة واليوم عيد من فضل عالي الشان عيد الوطن شوف النفوس العفيفة يا مرحبا وعداد ما هالودان من يعتبر للشعب درعة وسيفة يا مرحبا وعداد ما هالودان من يعتبر للشعب درعة وسيفة ما يكفي المنطوق لو كان ما كان تكسر حروب الشيء دون الخليفة سلامتكم تديم هذه الأعياد بسلامة قادتنا والله يوفقنا إن شاء الله لخدمة بلداننا وشعوبنا وهذه الأيام مناسبة لنشوف بعض ونتبادل ذكرياتنا وأحاديثنا عن العلاقات التي ورثناها من أبا وأجداد ولله الحمد حنا سائرين على ما ورثناه من محبة وعلاقة فيما بيننا والله يوفقنا إن شاء الله جميعا لخدمة بلداننا وشعوبنا Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today presided over by its speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The council approved a draft law that adds a new item to Article 2 of Law 58 of 2006 on protecting society from terrorist acts. The council also approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree by Law 2 of 1994 on urban planning, which included the general principles of the draft law. The session approved a proposal regarding a holding housing applications if applicants lose the requirement of being the head of the family until the requirement is met again while maintaining the previous waiting period and adding it to the new application. A proposal on stopping the employment of foreigners in ministries, government departments and companies of which the government possesses 51% has been approved. The Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Academy of Police at Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the graduation ceremony of 76 students from the 4th Regiment who received their master's degree in criminal and police sciences in administrative and security services and in security studies. The event was attended by the UK Ambassador to Bahrain along with a number of senior officials from the Ministry of Interior. To mark the occasion, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah said that the ministry is preparing its cadres in accordance with modern training and academic standards. The minister praised the pioneering role that the Royal Academy of Police plays in preparing courses and academic programs, as well as educational programs that deal with the latest challenges in the field of security. The minister said that the master's degree that is being offered by the academy in partnership with the University of Huddersfield in the UK has has contributed in preparing policemen to deal with security challenges with the utmost readiness and professionalism. During the event, Chief of Public Security and Chairman of the Scientific Board, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan gave a speech in which he thanked the Minister of Interior for patronizing the graduation ceremony. Major General Al Hassan said that the Royal Police Academy is experiencing progress in all aspects due to the efforts of the Minister, who is keen on modernizing the Academy 
academy and developing it. Major General Al Hassan added that the development of the academy has been ongoing for 14 years and that it shall continue to do so in the future in order to curb crime in all its forms, including those that exploit technological progress for illegal ends. During the ceremony, a video was shown on the master's degree program at the academy and the role it plays in further developing the academy's personnel. The vice president of the University of Huddersfield, Andrew Paul, then gave a speech in which he congratulated the graduates. Paul praised the academic performance of the graduates and hoped that more will graduate through the program in the future. The Minister of Interior then honored and congratulated the graduates and thanked the members of the Board of Trustees of the Academy as well as the staff of the University of Huddersfield and wished them all well. The General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science at the Ministry of Interior arrested drug traffickers that smuggled drugs through the sea from Iran. The amount of confiscated narcotics are worth 1.65 million Bahraini dinars. The arrested individuals are Ghulam Rida Ali Muhammad, 69 years old, who is the head of the network. He was previously convicted of trafficking drugs through the sea and of laundering money through his properties. Ahmed Musa, Ahmed Musa, 40 
28 years old, who is in charge of promoting the product and receiving large amounts of money in return. Ali Mirza Asad Mohammed, 57 years old, who promotes drug use in return for a monetary award. Saleh Ahmed Abdullah, 82 years old, who uses anonymous methods to transfer the network's revenue to an Iranian national who sends money through travelers to Iran. The narcotics that have been confiscated vary in type and include weed, marijuana and crystal meth. The operation also resulted in confiscating money in Bahraini, Saudi and Iranian currencies. The accused individuals have been referred to the public prosecution as further legal proceedings are carried out. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the International Conference on Fourth Industrial Revolution under the slogan Industry for Transition and Capacity of DCC Countries, with the participation from various local, regional, and international bodies of executives of oil companies, specialists, technicians, and local and international universities specialized in this field. The event is organized by the Bahraini Society of Engineers in cooperation and coordination with the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, and with the support from a number of local, regional, and international companies. The minister expressed pleasure for hosting this important event for the first time in Bahrain, noting the efforts made by the organizing committee in preparing for and arranging such events associated with modern technology. He said that the world is a new era of digital development that offers unprecedented potential for progress, development, and and global growth, stressing that the fourth industrial revolution is good opportunity to increase demand for oil, gas and petrochemical products. Sheikh Mohammed noted that technological developments have begun to affect all sectors, especially the oil and gas sector, stressing the importance of the fourth industrial revolution today, which is one of the most important strategic development topics for the development of regulatory public policies to qualify the new generation of human cadres to work according to the requirements of the new industrial era. He expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to all those who contributed to the success of this important event from the organizers, supporters, participants and exhibitors and wished them success. The conference focused on five main themes, oil and gas, energy, engineering, projects and metallurgical industries such as logistics services. On the sidelines of the conference, the minister inaugurated the accompanying exhibition, which included a large number of local and international companies and interested educational institutions from different countries of the world. This event is about the fourth industrial revolution. The Bahrain Society of Engineers for the first time organized this here in Bahrain. Very important topic and it's to do with applying technology to the industrial operations, whether it's upstream oil and gas production, whether it's in refining, petrochemicals, etc. And basically with that you can increase your availability, reduce your maintenance costs, uh, increase your safety, all by using automated methods of helping operators manage facilities better. And it helps in the training of, uh, uh, of new uh, staff. Uh, that's a very important topic. I'm very happy to be associated with this event and thank you very much for your coverage. This is uh, the first conference of its kind, uh, Industry 4.0 and uh, we have concentrated on uh, certain uh, subjects and certain industries such as uh, oil, uh, power or energy, uh, engineering and uh, metal industry and the last is the logistic industry. Um, we would like to see and explore uh, how bah uh, the GCC areas and Bahrain in particular uh, can shift into the uh, 4.0 uh, applications and in industry and what are the measures and what the ideas and concepts that we need to, to adapt.